it's time for our first sound design strategy, ambient audio. This, as a reminder, is sound that continually plays throughout a scene. This could be background noise, music, or audio you want to be heard as if it were in your headphones. Let's see an example. In our Unity project, in the forest scene, I've included an example of ambient audio for you already. I'm just going to adjust my player a little bit because I don't want to hear the other sounds right off the bat. So let's press play and see what we hear. I hear the sounds of birds and nature. This sound, no matter where I move in the scene, is the same. It's just ambient sound that I want there to, to be there to kind of paint the experience, to kind of set the tone, atmosphere, and vibe for the player. Something else you'll notice if you've explored the scene, or as I go through here, is that there's other sounds that do appear as I explore. For example, an owl sound by this tree. But it disappears as I get further away from it. I also, as I get close to this fire, hear this beautiful crackling sound, and I hear this other bird sounds by these other trees, and over here, I hear the car idling. So don't get confused between the types of sounds here. The ambient audio is this chirping bird sound that we hear consistently the entire time. It never changes. It's always present. Really important for you to make sure that you understand that clearly. It's the easiest type of audio to inject into a scene, and while it's not something that we want to overdo, it can be really helpful in kind of painting the picture or setting the tone for a space. Let me show you how I've set it up for this particular scene. I'm going to delete the ambient audio I already have. Just to prove that's the case, I'm going to play this again. And all you hear is the distant sound of the fire crackling, if you even hear that at all. No more ambient audio. To create ambient audio, we need to first have something to attach the audio to. Technically, you could attach it to the player, but I always prefer to create my own object in the hierarchy, just so that it's really distinctly its own thing. I'm going to right-click in my hierarchy and choose Create Empty. I'm going to call this Ambient Audio. And this is clearly now the audio that I intend to be heard throughout the scene. Maybe you have more than one sound you want to have heard throughout the scene. We'd attach all of them here, but for now, we're just going to attach the one. With this created and selected, I should see over in the inspector a simple ambient audio header with a transform. This is just information about the position of where it's at. One of the rules of ambient audio is that its position doesn't matter. So we can kind of ignore the transform entirely. I'm just going to collapse it down here. It's, it's irrelevant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a component called an audio source. By clicking on add component, I can type in the name of something and get that, well, that form of uh, component and add it by clicking into my game. This ambient audio source is now connected to the ambient audio object in my view. Now I have a bunch of settings in here. A lot of these are things that you can feel free to play around with and, and kind of experiment with on your own, but for the most part, we're going to ignore a lot of things. For ambient audio, the 3D sound settings should be closed and not looked at. It's not relevant for this. So what do we need to worry about? The audio clip and the volume. The audio clip that I'm looking for is going to be stored in my sounds. I have already provided some audio. I believe it's this sound right here. I can double click on it to preview it. Oh, that's my space one. So which one is it here? Uh, oh, it's this nature one. Cool. So I double clicked on it to play it externally, but I can also just click on it here to have that playback inside of Unity so that I know which one that I'm working with. Awesome. So now that I found it, if I click back on my ambient audio object, I can click and drag. So I'm dragging this object over into this audio clip slot. See how it lights up blue and nothing else does? It's because Unity recognizes that this is the right type of file for this slot. And when I let go, I've applied that sound in here. There's another way we could have done this as well, which is rather than click and drag it, if I click on this little blue target to the side, Unity is going to find all of the audio clips in my project that I can choose from. And then I can just select the one from this list and double click to apply it here. So two ways I can attach it. This audio clip is now attached to this audio source. Now we want to make sure we have two settings down here connected. The first one is called play on awake. If you hover over, it tells us play the sound when the scene loads. This basically allows the sound to actually start on its own without any other thing being required to start it up. So we definitely want this selected for ambient audio. 
I also want to check loop just in case the player spends a lot of time in this scene. I want to make sure the sound repeats itself so it doesn't just kind of end and not kick back in. So those two toggles should be enabled for our ambient audio. Finally, something that we want to adjust is the volume. This is something that you're going to have to do some testing with, and let's do so right now just to kind of see how we can make this uh, as refined as we're able to for the experience. When I hit play and the volume's full, we're going to hear that this sound kind of, is kind of overpowering. Can you hear my voice right now? So if I click and drag this down, you'll hear that it becomes much more subtle in the background, kind of like ambient sounds typically are, maybe unless you're like in a concert or a very loud place. And you'll kind of hear it. The lower it goes, the more you can hear the other background sounds. So you want to find a sound level that fits the scene well for the player in balance with the other sounds. I'm just going to head over to the fire and see if this volume level matches. Is it overpowering that fire too much? Maybe a little bit. I might crank mine down a little bit more to be a bit more in the background so I can hear other sounds emerging as I get close to them. Perfect. One thing that's good to know about Unity is that if we're adjusting settings while playing, Watch the volume. If I stop running, it resets them back. It doesn't actually memorize the settings during play mode. So I just need to go back and adjust it back to roughly where it was before, and then I can make sure my scene is saved, and now the settings are in the right spot. Let me play it again just to kind of see if it remembered it properly. There we go. That sound seems about the right level. So what's happened here? I've added an audio source to an audio object. I've enabled play on awaken loop so that it starts and continues as expected. And I've adjusted the volume so that it actually has a right balance with the other things in the scene. And now, theoretically, I could go and add ambient audio to any single scene I have in the game. If I wanted to, I could actually add a second audio source to this particular scene. Let's loop it. Let's find another piece of audio. For example, what if, uh, just for fun, I did... Uh, what should we do here? Uh, let's just do this kind of the one from the space scene. And I'm going to crank this volume. Oh, that's the other volume. This volume, not priority, the volume all the way down here so it's not too loud. And let's hear what happens now. I have the chirping and the music playing at the same time in the background. That doesn't change as I move. So I have a soundtrack and an ambient kind of texture building sound at the same time. You can layer as many of these things together as you desire. Just know that the more you layer, the more busy the sound gets in the scene. So we might want to kind of limit how many things we do so that we don't want to overwhelm the player with sound and leave some space for other effects and sound effects to be injected inside of it. Wonderful. So now you have the ability to add ambient sound into any scene in the game that you want, including your own custom one later. Play around with it, see what you can add, and have some fun. See you in the next one.